So, so, what is going on? What's going on in 101 Country is going on here. This is what's going on in 101 Country. Hello and welcome to your informed program right here on 101 Country WBDC and of course 18 WJTS. We are joined once again by our friend from the Huntingburg Senior Citizen Center, Miss Rita Reller. How are you doing today, Miss Rita? I'm doing just fine. I love this weather. <laughs> Ain't that right? I'm Caitlin Nykam, of course, if I did not or if I failed to mention that. Normally it's Amanda, but we're giving her a bit of a, a break to do some other tasks for us today. So, Miss Rita, with the Huntingburg Senior Citizen Center, you guys do a lot of different things. You've been in pretty frequently to talk about trips and whatnot. Uh, what do we have coming up now that we're in the month of October and all these uh, fun things? You got to show us a, a, a uh, event you guys just had that went really, really well for the Senior Center, right? Last Monday, we had a dress-up day where the women wore hats and the men had hats and ties. And we played games and uh, we had some good food. We had root beer floats in the afternoon <laughs> and did some reminiscing. And it was a lot of fun. And we've got a Halloween party coming up the end of the month yes. where we'll have uh, food and games again. So you guys are keeping keeping the VIP lounge uh, type uh, vibes going at the Senior Center with all these big events. It's kind of I feel kind of jealous because I haven't gone to one yet. But tell us about this Halloween party you guys are having on uh, Halloween itself, October 31st. Yeah, it just happens to be that day. It's a Thursday, so it's usually one of our slow days. But I've already got several people signed up to come. I said I would furnish lunch that day, and they can come dressed up. We'll have uh, some Halloween games and uh, some good food, and then they can play their cards. Or, <laughs> Always or cards. Other games. Yes. <laughs> uh, and just so that people are aware, there's still time to sign up for this event, right? Yes, they have until the 28th to sign up. By then, I'll know how much food I have to prepare. And it sounds like you, you're going to be busy because this hat and ties event probably was a good uh, foreshadowing. And so this is probably going to be a real big thing for for those who may or may not know. Are there is there going to be Halloween candy at this event as well? Oh, of course. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a must. It's a staple. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Halloween's just around the corner. I can't believe it. I It's just it's everything's flown by. You got, you recently wrapped up your call outs for your Branson trip. So that's coming up in November, right? Right. November 11th to the 15th is our trip to Branson. We have a meet and greet set up for the 26th of this month where everyone can get together, pick up their name tags, luggage tags, their final itineraries and all of their instructions, which bus they'll be on and, and what color tags they'll use and all of that. Right, and you do a lot of this work behind the scenes um, in preparation for this because there's a lot that could go wrong. There's a lot that <laughs> needs to be adjusted and whatnot, but uh, the meet and greet's kind of your guys' way of connecting with those who have already signed up, maybe uh, kind of smooth some of those worries out and get everyone ready for this amazing trip that they're going to go on because there's a lot of people who have probably traveled with you before and they right. continue to travel with you guys, but there's also maybe one or two people that have never traveled in a group before. So this is kind of the, the, the first initial uh, talk to kind of ease everything over, right? Right. There are quite a few who have never been on a bus trip before. Right. And several who have never been on a bus trip with me. So <laughs> uh, they don't know what to expect. This way they can meet some of the people and, oh, I know them. They live down the street from me or, or that's my cousin's cousin. You know, so they already know people but they didn't know they were going on the trip. So. <laughs> right, and that's that's kind of like you rekindle or maybe meet someone that you haven't gotten to yet, and it is a leisurely trip, but at the same time, there's a very busy itinerary, I'd imagine, with Miss Rita, because you, uh, you pack your trips full and you keep the senior center just as busy uh, as well. So, you know, Branson in November, you're going to be away uh, experiencing all those fun things. What other trips have you been planning for the next year? Because you've uh, you've uh, kept it quite packed for the next few months into 2025. Well, not until May they start. Fair enough. But um, the first one will be the Holland Tulip Festival, and that's May 6th to the 8th. Uh, let's see. The reservations are due by January 2nd for that trip, and the final payment by March 1st. The cost is $649 if you're going to room with somebody, or $848 if you want a single room. We'll be seeing a wooden shoe factory, the tulip gardens, 
and we'll have one evening show. I don't know what kind of show. It just <laughs> says an evening show. An evening so show. I'll be surprised, too. <laughs> Very good. So, I mean, if you don't want to go for, for all of the other reasons, I would go to see all the tulips because that sounds like a bunch of fun. And that, that'll be good f um, going into from winter to spring uh, trip for you guys. So, you know, before we get into too, too much of the future plans you guys have, you already have your itinerary and weekly bingo and card games set for October and November, right? Right. So what does that consist of? Uh, every Monday at 1230, we have card tourneys. The first and third Mondays are cinch tourneys, and the second and fourth are euchre tourneys. And you have to call in by 11 o'clock the day of the tourneys so I can make sure I've got my tables full. And uh, sometimes I have somebody that comes in and hasn't signed up, and then I have to get on the phone and hurry and find somebody else oh. to fill in. <laughs> so it, it, it's worked out so far. But yeah. And then uh, Wednesdays we have bingos. At one o'clock, um, I have different nursing homes or home health uh, care people bring in the prizes, and it doesn't cost anything to play bingo. Everybody gets two cards, and when they bingo, they get take one of the prizes that one of our sponsors has brought. Um, they aren't big prizes or anything, but at least you get to holler bingo and get something. That's right. That's like the, I would say, the unspoken true uh, prize of somebody who's super excited for that. So, uh, Rita, will you tell us more about the goal of the Huntingburg Senior Center? Because you guys do a lot of different things to keep, keep people engaged, right? Right. Our goal is to keep them active and live longer. We have... Um, one of our people that comes up and plays cards every week, he just turned 92. Wow. Um, up until a couple of years ago, we had a lady that came and played cards every week. She's now 101, and she's in a nursing home, so she can't get over. But I did find out that she still gets out and plays cards. Somebody will pick her up and take her out to play cards once a week. That's what matters. So, and we want to keep them moving, keep them active. And being social is crucial to the well-being. You don't want somebody sitting at home. They go downhill a lot faster. They need to be out and socialize, and that's what I tried for. Right, and as we're getting into these colder months, uh, there's a unique opportunity happening in Huntingburg where, um, where your senior citizen center uh, members, per se, can actually walk around in Memorial Gym through certain hours throughout the week. Is that right? Memorial Gym is open for walking uh, from October until April, and they can walk from uh, 5 a.m. till 3 p.m. on Monday through Friday, and 5 to 11 on Saturdays. You don't have to worry about cold weather or rain or whatever. You can walk as long as you want. That's something to keep in mind as we go into more hibernation season. First, it has to start getting cold and staying cold and maybe freezing a bit outside, which we're not there just yet. Uh, but with that, you know, you guys also, we talked about bingo and cards and whatnot, but what are some of the other senior citizen center items that you provide maybe on the weekends or maybe just for those non-card people? Because I know you have a lot of different other fun things that you uh, continually restock in the senior center. Well, we have uh, different board games. We have uh, puzzles, books. They can come up there and sit and read if they just want to be around people. They don't, you know, if they like to read, but they don't want to sit at home and read alone. Uh, if they've got a certain board game they like to play, they're welcome to bring their game up, and we'll find somebody to play with them. <laughs> uh, if they want to do something on the weekends and I'm available... If they want to bring a group over, I'll open the center if, if I'm available right? and have them come up there and do what they w want. And so. you, you host a very exclusive diners club, too, on the weekends, sometimes. Well, it's not exclusive. <laughs> not exclusive. <laughs> but if, uh, we like to go out to eat, and we try different places. And if anyone wants to join us, I'll... They can call me and find out when the Diners Club's going to go out. I'm planning on going out a week from this Friday, and we'll see if we get anybody together. We've gone out with just three people, and we've had as many as 12 and 13. Uh, we've gone to places like Olive Garden, uh, oh. Pub and Grub, um, Friendship Diner, Opie's in, in uh, Christney. We go all over the place. 
And <laughs> it's just nice to be together and have a meal, share a meal with others. That's right. And again, just the community sense of all this. Rita, you have a very exciting October coming and November, of course, as well. Uh, if anyone wants more information about the Huntingburg Senior Citizen Center, which remind us where it's located as well, uh, remind us where we can, you know, visit you in office, what times, and then if anyone has questions by phone, how can they contact you? Uh, we're at 511 East 4th Street, across from the Huntingburg City Office. Uh, come down the alley and around <laughs> the back. We're in the basement. The We're VIP entrance is what I like to say. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you come down the alley at 511 East 4th Street. It's a Banker's Life building. There are other places, other businesses in that building, and they're all listed on the front of the building. So everything except the Senior Center. So just remember, we're hard to find, but we're worth it. Come down the alley and around the back. Hard to find, but you're worth it. I, I love that. <laughs> and if anyone is curious about, um, uh, let's just say, open hours or anything like that, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, the center is open on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 5. And like I say, if they want other times, all they have to do is let me know. And if I'm available, I'll open the center. Right. And do you have to be a resident of Huntingburg to participate in anything that you guys provide? No, you don't have to be a resident of Huntingburg or even Dubois County. I've got people that come from Spencer County. I had one gentleman that came up from uh, Louisville occasionally. I had a couple that came from Owensboro because they like to play euchre, and they didn't play euchre in Owensboro. So it, it, anybody that wants to come and join us and socialize with us, they're welcome. I, I can greatly appreciate that. You guys are very welcome and provide so many different uh, programs for people to kind of partake in. Rita, did we miss anything or anything you want to make sure we mention for our monthly visit with you here today? <laughs> no, um, I think we covered everything. Well, good. That's always a plus. But uh, Rita, thank you for your time today. And again, uh, very excited for your Branson trip coming up in November. And I hope your, your Halloween celebration is just as spooky as it, as it sounds like it's going to be. It sounds like it's going to be a very, very fun time for your residents. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Well, you have been listening to 101 Country WBDC and, of course, watching on 18 WJTS, our Inform program with the Huntingburg Senior Citizens Center. And we will get back to music right after this.